Hello, Monsters of Anion, welcome back to Total War Troy and part 16, yep, it is part 16, of my Rhesus campaign where we're still fending off numerous attacks against the Greeks, although we did manage to get Sarpedon to declare war on them, so maybe that will, that will make things better? I genuinely, genuinely don't know. Uh, we've got Achilles rampaging, uh, you know, we need to get you. We will claim victory. Yes, you do that, right, I'm going to recruit you. Oh good, that means everything costs more. That's fine, won't worry about that. And you need to get down here to help us. I'm going to bring you over here as well. Uh, you are just going to be over here. You're laying siege to that, which is fine. You dealt with uh, Odysseus last episode. And you are just going to, like this... We're, we're going to try and make this look rich. They're going to boost all this up, and they're going to be—they're going to lick their little lips at the thought of being able to sack that. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, there's not really—we don't have an army down here to stop Achilles at the moment, so he's just going to uh, to smash through that. Is he going to take the city? No, he's going to attack that one as well. Okay, yeah, that means we've got less food, but that's okay because we can trade for more food, so we should be food fine. We're food fine, everyone. We're food. fine. Fine. Oh, what happened there? Don't know. That's fine. It's okay. There's so many people we're at war with. So many fucking people we're at war with. Okay, if I can... Right, I think I need to get... We need to get this army over here to basically protect this coastline. I think the, the city itself is fine. It's got defences, so that should be okay. But we do have a, a couple of cities here which do not have defences, and I think they are vulnerable to potential attack. You are declaring war on me. Why? I, I'll deal with them. I'll deal. What do you want? You want lots of stone and gold in exchange for loads of food. Uh, I do have plenty of stone, so yes, okay. That way I can go into a food deficit for a little while without really having to worry too much. Oh, you're declaring war on me as well. Okay, well, I will draw you in. I, I sus Now, I don't know, but I suspect these guys... I doubt this meeting Yeah, they, they already much. want to peace out with me for some fucking reason. Uh, in that case, you have... Bro okay, give me fucking bronze then, you big, you big shit. Okay, not 400. How about... 85? 87. 86. Perfect. Right, give me 86 bronze for five turns, and then I get see. the fuck out of my house. You dick. Right, good. Over here. These guys are weakened enough that we can take the city. There we go. Right, we'll occupy this one. We have indeed. Uh, I want to take this woods, and then we need to get this army back to join the rest of our forces. Uh, fatigue reduction for all units. Yes, that is way better than recruit rank. Like, ludicrously better. Right, you're going to march over here. I think I'm going to bring you down here. Your path to victory. And I'm going to bring you over here. That way we can defend our coastline from potential attack. We can take them. We can. Maybe. Not possible. And you can't re good. And then we can just lay an ambush and see if we can lure some armies in. It's kind of spinning our wheels. Um, but as long as we're kicking the shit out of the Greeks as they try and cross the ocean, that's not necessarily a bad thing. And we can build up our resources and all that kind of, of good stuff. Um, do I want now... How many how many Hydra Arches do I have? Do right. I probably... I could probably get some more. We don't have a lot of gold, though. Which is a bit of an issue. So let's spend gold on getting more gold. And we can also get this one. And this province doesn't actually have enough throw. So we, we need to boost up the, the influence here. I think this gives us more influence. It does. Okay, so yeah, we want to build that one. Good. Okay, I think I think we're doing alright. I'm a little like I'm hoping they they 
keep attacking our little island here. Damage buildings, Dion. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, that's, that's going to stay damaged for the moment, I think. I'm hoping Achilles might circle back and take it, and that'll slow him down a little bit. But I've got to think his position, he might just charge forward. Yeah, he just charged forward. Achilles, you dick. You're such a dick, Achilles. I hate you so much. Yes, 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 I know, I know. You're stabbing people left, right, and center. It's fine. Right, I need to I need to take out Achilles. Where's he? He's probably gonna go for the gold, would be my guess. If I was Achilles, I would definitely go for the gold. However, this kind of like just rampaging through my territory is is kind of annoying because there's no real strategy to it. There's no joined up thinking here. We're being raided, which is fine. Let's uh, make this ha does this have defenses? You have defenses. We will claim victory. Okay. What we're going to do is a bad idea. no it's it's a good idea trust me you're going to come here I and you are this. going to ambush you are going to calm down here and you are also going to ambush I will serve you well. and yes you're going to come over here and also ambush as we desperately try to... Right, and you're going to come over here and take this. These guys actually quite like me. Can I just kill... No. Right. Okay. I guess we'll have to do this the hard way, but it shouldn't be actually that hard. We've got some harpies here. The harpies are quite useful because obviously Troy is all about rear attacks, getting around behind the enemy, and harpies can do just that. Being that they're flappy girls. In the go of the flappy girls, of course, our chariots going to just charge straight towards the weapon. This battle should be brutally quick and pretty one-sided, but uh, the order resolve does not think so, so we're going to have to uh, to prove it to them. Come the harpies, interrupting the worshippers of Pan, which means the chariots can then just mow through them. They're also getting in amongst those javelins, locking them down. The chariot harpy combo is, close enough to is one I did not think would work very well, but uh, here we can see that actually it's, it's going great. Over here, we're also getting down in amongst the enemy archers, the Thracian bowmen, so they can't do anything apart from die horribly. So flappy girls and the worshippers of Pan are being brained by our worshippers of Pan because our worshippers of Pan are better. Hooray! And we've already broken through the chariots heading down towards city centre where the last remaining few units are holed up. And there are some more chanters hanging around, uh, but it's, yeah, it's, again, very one sided. Got our Spatoi. Little bony boys, worshippers of Pan going down pretty hard. The harpies really mopping up there, and yeah, big routes. Just finishing off those units. The chariots slamming down into the war chanters. Getting absolutely destroyed. The chariots really are bullshit, aren't they? Absolute bullshit, but there we go. down towards a city. It's more like a town, really. It's a town centre. A village. Really. It's a village centre. Harpies chasing down the last few forest ambushers and our chariots it's just rolling over what's left of those war chances, leaving just a big mess behind. Just one guy. One guy to tell the tale of the day his friends got run over by chariots. It's not a long story. See the war chanters moving in to try and meet the chariot. I mean, you saw what happened to the last lot, right? Right? Maybe not. 
Oh no, you could definitely, from here, you could definitely see what happened to the last slot, which means you knew exactly what was going to happen. the next unit as well. Harpy's flapping over to help out. But to be honest, this battle is over. And uh, yeah, we didn't lose any units, did we? Yeah, didn't, didn't, think, didn't think we'd lose that many units from doing that, that battle. And uh, we didn't. So that's good. Right. Occupy that one. Oh, we've got the Annex. We've got the Horn of Thrace. Damn right we do. We've got the Horn. Yes, we... <laughs> Lo lovely Horn. Uh, good. Uh, so that's more growth in local province. That's actually quite useful. It's actually quite useful. Where do we want to put that? And those guys are dead, which is good, because they sucked. You know what? I'm going to give a lemon. He is going to have... Mind you, it's not really useful for him. You know what? It would be actually useful for you. King Rhesus. Exactly. King Rhesus needs the Horn of Thrace. What do you have? You've got... Okay, casual is nice. Upkeep reduction is... Nice. Nice. That's okay. Oh, that's all really good. That's the only thing I could think of, like, to get rid of. But to be honest, even that's pretty good. What does this do? More damage. 10% armor piercing of heroes. 7% melee attack of swords, axe, and club units. Well, let's take that for a start. I kind of like all of this. I don't want to get rid of it. Um, okay, you know what? We're going to give... I will serve you well. Agapin who is a bit sad at the moment. He's a trooper. His motivation's low. We can improve that. So, let's get... Right, what do you... Right, what we got... Okay, so. My defense. Yes, have a shield. What else do we have? Anything good. Have an Iron Ash Club. Why the hell not? Have a Horn of Thrace. Have a Ring of Thingy. Have a hat. Have a bloody big television. Yes. Uh... Sure, have all that shit. That should cheer you right up, right? You should be fucking ludicrous. Yeah, you are ludicrously happy. You are so fucking motivated right now. Holy balls. 10% ca- Ooh. 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 It's a bit sexy, isn't it? Okay, we're just ambushing all over the place, hoping that <laughs> the enemy army will come close, and then we can kick the- Oh, this is, uh, this is actually Thrace itself. I hadn't even realised. Uh, right, we'll upgrade you. You know what? Those harpies were pretty fucking good. I was actually like, yeah, harpies. Holy shit. We do have the harpy fiends. Hmm. That could that you know what? That could be actually a good good option, couldn't it? Could be a good option. Right, what what rituals do we have available to us? So less fatigue during battle, pretty good. Campaign movement range, pretty good. Attack, pretty good. Morale, recruitment, upkeep, reduction is not bad. Not that we need it at the moment. Oh, I'm gonna say more melee attack would be quite nice actually. So let's do that one. More resources, more happiness. Wood construction. Let's do that one. Just more resources in general. And I'm going to get you boys. Yeah. Yep. We're doing loads of rituals. We've got all the rituals going on. It's going to be very exciting. Let's see if we can catch Achilles. If we can, that'd be great. Nope, you're just attacking that again. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, are you actually taking the settlement this time? Or, no, you're just you're just running. And you're going to attack that one as well. Okay. 
Honest to God, Achilles, fuck you. Okay, you've taken that, which is actually not the worst thing. Okay, what do we have? Right, we've got some armies meandering around, that's fine. Annex of Thrace, we've got more gold income. Is that, wait, more gold income or more... Just more gold. Plus five gold income per turn. Oh, okay. That's, that's nice. Hello. Descendant of Ares. Okay, we've got a lot of armies nearby, so let's start taking them out, shall we? For starters, Can't do that. we're going to attack Achilles. Now, he's probably going to come out of the city and attack us, which is absolutely Not fine enough. by me. Show me blood. I'm going to let him. Then over here, right away. we can kill this army. All out attack. Uh, let's take let's the replenishment. Do it right. Get rewarded. And we can reach Master you and your marching. So that's bad news for you. That won't work. And it's Menelaus himself. Can we just auto resolve that? No, because you would kill some of my woodsmen, and I do not want you to do that. So I guess we're gonna have to do this the hard way. It's over, Menelaus! I have the high ground! Is it Menelaus? It is Menelaus. Is it Menelaus or Agamemnon? No, it's Menelaus. It's fine. So we've got our Hydra Defenders. Tanky boys. 61 melee defense. Not great on the attack. They don't need to be. So we've got Poison 4. And we have our Woodsman and Spear Miles of Elysium hiding down in the trees. Taking only a little bit of fire there, but uh, our Hydra Defenders do have 65% missile block chance. So they will hold that no problem. And the enemy army is now charging up the hill towards us. Right on it. Got these night runners. Try. They're very good flanking units. Not great at just charging, though. And that's exactly what they're doing. Try Taking a lot of poison damage. The chariots hitting the Hydra defenders, but uh, failing to get anywhere. That's what you want. Big tanky boys holding the line. Menelaus attacking on our flank over there. It's, that's fine. And the chariots now charging down the hill, slamming straight into the night runners, and they are getting absolutely destroyed. The young spears behind them holding up for moments, momentarily, before just yep, dying along with them. And yet lots of poison damage raining down on everyone. Victory is close enough to taste. The renowned slingers being run down in the trees, and then from behind them, the woodsmen are advancing through the trees, backed up by the spear masters of Elysium, which, to be honest, I really should get rid of. Meanwhile, the big melee over here is not... I mean, the, the Hydra defenders, they're, not, they're never going to kill very many. They don't need to, though. They just need to hold the line while everyone dies from poison damage. And look how much poison damage they're taking. It's ludicrous. I mean, they're, they're literally just dropping dead. And the Hydra Archers, again, not really doing a huge amount of damage all in all. But that poison is just slowly draining their health. Menelaus and a lemon engaging. Menelaus, of course, leader of Sparta. And a lemon, he's literally just a lemon, human lemon. A lemon with legs and a bronze sword. So that's fun. The last few units are dying. Chariots mopping up. Really, it's just Menelaus left over now. And a couple more units who, I guess, haven't realised they're dead already. Light Swordsman. Look how much poison damage that does. It's just ludicrous. It's just, it's just so much damage. And then the chariots come in from behind. And, yep, that, that battle's over. Well, it would be. If we didn't just Aristea. Okay. 
Okay, well, you're dead. Move it. Did we get a crate I'll for that? Right. Shame. Never mind. Uh, let's go with... What do we have? What do we have? A chariot. Do you want a chariot? I reckon a chariot would be pretty cool. Vanguard deployment, not so useful. Uh, we do have missile units experience per turn. Yeah, I'm all right. You know, we do have these Hydra Archers. So let's do that. I think we're fairly safe. Just to be on the safe side, let's bring you down into that. And we'll bring you over here. So that's fine. Okay, let's start off by killing both of these dweebs. Zalmoxis favors us. Can we just auto resolve that? I think so. Zabazios, trample them. To you spill their blood. Spill okay, that's another couple of armies dead. In defense of Ilion. Yes, 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 yes. Can, can we do more? King Rhesus. We could potentially pick this army off as well. Should take the replenishment. Oof, you've got a lot of these uh, marksmen. Which is a problem, but we can probably steal... Should have taken the replenishment. Didn't think I'd be able to reach that army as well. But we can, so let's go and do it. Because then that's, you know, one less army. And one less army is good. Because they've got way too many. Alright. Agreed. This would potentially be a tough battle if we didn't have the complete bullshit that is our chariots. They're moving over on the flank. In the centre, we've got our giant spearmen backed up by the spear guys and the worshippers of Pan hiding in the trees there. We're going to engage with our uh, with our main front line. We're going to get the Pan warriors, worshippers of Pan around the flank and the chariots are just going to mow everyone down. They need like healing or something. Five hit points healed per second. Whoa. Is that normal? Is that a buff? Do they? Do they have a buff? Do they? Really? Hmm. Okay, no problem. We can deal with all of this. So our main line charging through the trees. The foe has sighted your hidden units. While they move to engage, our chariots coming in from the flank. Spear masters lining up to take the charge. They take it, but not well. And then, of course, we buff the shit out of ourselves. Uh, Fearless Resolve gives us more speed, more charge. You know, stuff that chariots definitely do need. And then it's just a case of mowing everyone down. Disappointingly, the ghosts don't leave blood trails behind, which is, you know. Indeed. Death. I wish, I wish they'd brought the the Griffin rather than Cerberus. Cerberus is a good boy, but his units. I mean, there's there's no point trailing them. You don't make the lovely blood trails with them. It's no fun. The marksmen of Elysium aren't going to get a chance to use those bows because they're too being busy being run over by our. Our chariots and the worshippers of Pan coming in from the rear, catching the enemy army in a in a pincer. And now it's just a case of running everyone down. Because of course the ghosties are unbreakable, which means you need to wipe them out. I mean we're doing our best. We're definitely running them all over. And there's everyone's running healdy piggledy because I don't know which which way Victory. to go. It's close enough to taste. Yeah, I mean considering they said this battle was gonna be an absolute whitewash in the enemy's favor Hold them down. this this has gone you know way better than i expected 
We've got a nice little surround over here. The Wretched Shades and Spearmasters are being picked off. Because they're fighting on both sides. Their melee defense is lower. And of course the chariots can come in to help as well. Beep beep motherfuckers! Can you believe they nerfed chariots from what they were at release? I mean, I would make them bleed, but a lot of them are ghosts, and it doesn't work, unfortunately. Well, apart from having to uh, finish off the last few units, that army has been completely disintegrated. Look at them go. Wow, that's a lot of, that's a lot of ghost bodies. How, how do we get rid of those? And there we go. Let's take the replenishment this time. Crossing the seas. Got a heavy helmet. That's nice, is it? Maybe. Don't know. Shall I? Get in there. What army do you? So you've got a lot of archers, which could be a problem. Make them pay. I'm just going to let that happen, and we're going to do a hecatomb there. And let us do a prayer to you as well. That way we can get... So we've got the buff there. This is... <sighs> Problem is we need defences there, so that's not really a good place. I could maybe get some more gold. This is fairly protected. The influence isn't great, but it is getting there. Alternatively, we could boost this up again. It would be less of a bonus, but it's, it's a very protected settlement and it would give us more food. I mean, it's an option. Or we could maybe get more bronze, because we don't... We don't have a huge amount of bronze. And again, this is fairly safe here. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do that. Right. What else? We do I, hmm. I think it's better to let him attack me because he's got a lot of archers, which we can wipe out with our chariots. Not an option. That's probably better when we have open ground, right? You've got Hector's sword. You've killed Hector. Not a wise call. You bastard. I must have. Okay, let's go with that. Is he going to attack? Almost guaranteed that he is. Yes, he is. Okay, that's fine because we've got the field battle. Um, admittedly, we do have the garrison to deal with. But those units are shit, so it's mostly just Achilles and his... I mean, we, if we can wipe out the bowmen, I think we're in a fairly good position. Those those centaur archers... I mean, they're, they're archers, so they should scatter away from us. The chariots, slight issue. But we've got lots of heavy infantry, so should be fine. What a lovely day for a battle, eh? Very moist. Reminds me of home. So we've got chariots on the left flank. And uh, the plan is engage with all of our infantry. Use the chariots to mop up the bowmen. And ideally, try and get the worships of Pan around behind. Knock out some units there. Basically, use the worships of Pan on the right flank. The chariots on the left flank. And uh, basically, wipe everything out. The foe has sighted your hidden units. Center archers bugging out. And of course, Achilles is going to be a nightmare to fight. In fact, I'm going to go so far as to say we're just going to ignore Achilles because it, it's just a bit of a, a, bit, a bit of a terror. They do have some chariots of their own, but we've managed to hit them in combat before they manage to hit us, which means we should be able to get a nice little surround there and pick them off, which is good. And... This is going to be the main problem. The the giant shades are... Look at the stats on these bastards. 87 melee attack, 62 melee defense. These guys are absolute monsters. 
And they're going to tear through our infantry. Apps just rip through it. Talking of ripping through, our chariots mowing down anything that gets into range. Those archers are toast. But they're holding on, I think because Achilles gives them a big buff of, well, everything. You can see, the uh, are losing heart. yeah, already the, the giants have ripped through our heavy club infantry, just, just annihilated them. And uh, that's not good. Meanwhile, on the other flank, slightly better news, as the worshippers of Pan are doing exactly what I need them to, and they are flanking around, knocking out unit after unit. We have this flank under control, but the giant shades are being an absolute fucking pain in the ass. These guys now up to 96 kills. They're not very, I mean, apart from throwing more and more units, so then there's not much we can do about it. The armoured spearmen are holding the line against the chariots, but you can see, yep, taking a big old chunk of damage there. Still, still holding no on though. Have been routed. And looks like, yeah, a, a, another unit has been routed by the the giants. Just fucking murder trains. 127 kills on those boys. They're doing better than the chariots. And that's saying something. Meanwhile, Achilles is fighting some more spear... Oh, no, mace guys. Uh, they're fighting the Wretched Shades. The Wretched Shades. Yeah, Luke, but I mean, Achilles is up to... Kill yeah, he's killed 25 of them. Chariots coming back for another round. We need to knock out the rest of this army, and particularly those giant shades. Those things need to die. I mean, again, more. They need to die more. They need to die. Yeah, good. We've got a lovely surrounded wretched shades here. Being attacked in the rear by some young spears, but that's not too bad. Uh, big blob here of units that are slowly going down. Armored chargers. And more shades. Lots of routing going on now. And uh, those giant shades now up to 218 kills. Yes, yeah, right. No... No stopping the giant shade train. Continue to run down anything we can spot. Trying to break the enemy army. We do have the upper hand here. We do have the upper hand. But it's still particularly... Still particularly dicey. We have to be careful of these armoured chargers. These guys are wrecking... The, the amount of melee attack on some of these units is ludicrous. I mean, it's as bad as my charge bonus, to be honest. As we run down these bowmen, that's good. And it's like we, we, I think, I think we can do this. I think we can do this. It's a lot closer than I would have liked. And these giant shades are just, we've, we've just got them surrounded and hoping for the best. That's, that's literally all we can do. The chariots coming to help against the armored chargers. They're fighting the worshippers of Pan at the moment, and uh, they're currently losing, and I want them to lose harder. So in come the chariots, charging into the rear. That should hopefully break the units. It's doing a lot of damage. I mean, they've got, they've killed almost 300. Really just tearing through. Victory. Is close enough to taste. We almost have them. There's a few more armored chargers on that flank there. Just going to use the chariots to help out. There we go. That's a rout. I think the problem is these Thracian spearmen are not... They've got pretty good melee defense, but just not good enough compared to what the amount of attack that Achilles is throwing at us. Right, let's try and kill these giant shades. These bastards are just... They're up to 300 kills. Holy shit, they are going down. And then the next issue is Achilles, who is unbreakable. And... Um, well, basically, we just throw everything we've got at him, and eventually he does die. And I won't make you watch that. But, yeah, Achilles. Absolute nightmare. Do not do not want to fight again anytime soon. Oof. That was close. Closer than I would have liked. Still... At least we can deal with that now. That's a ballsy move. You're just gonna Ajax just gonna stand there. Which is fine. I mean I'm I'm more than happy for him to stand there so I can kill him. Which is exactly what I'm gonna fucking do. 
Marching drills, more campaign movement range. Canvas host is available. Hephaestus has answered our prayers. He's got a, a swift-footed horse. Good for him. We will win through. We shall. And in there. let's see. what really? Get fucked! <laughs> Are you shitting me? What the fuck is that? The fuck is just fuck what? What? I mean, I know the armor charges are good, but they're not that fucking good. I guess we'll have to fight this battle. What do we have here? Uh, armor. Okay, well, that's, that's good. Well, we'll definitely use that. Let's going to have to wait until next time, where apparently I'm going to have to fight this battle, because otherwise it's going to kill half of my army. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.